Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, here's Baiano with Baiano Renault. Today we're gonna frame a open for the window. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how it is done. So in this case, I'm gonna use two by four. On the other side is the front of the house and uh, we just want a big wind for this room. Nice and big, so in this case, I'm gonna use most of a two by four for now. <laughs> this is, uh, we just want to put some hang force mat to support the joists up there. So right now we have just a temporary support. So we're just gonna open the rough open for now. We're not gonna have moved this plywood yet until the winds are ready right to coming. And uh, this is what it is. So first we put the support up there. Let's try to see if this guy can fit good. Yes, yeah, so here we just put the header to have the extra support. This is uh, the support to support the floor and the walls for the next floor upstairs. So. Wood the screws. How big man? Two and a half inches. We just use the hammer to remove the two by fours and bang it up and put the support. We use a measuring tape. We use a, a level, laser level. This is a Dewalt good little tool. This is great. And uh, finally we use this uh, drill. This is a, this is a master craft drill. It's just a, a drill to do a small job, put the screws, the small holes. It's a nice small one. And I also use this, uh, this saw. Saw saw to cut the, the stud. To cut the nails, that way you can remove the stud uh, easier. Because they, they think this tool is good. Once you have the stud, you want to remove the stud, you have some nails, you just cut, cut, and then you just have those Nails to dilute, so making the life very easy. And we use the wood screws, square head wood screws. We use this one, we use two and a half inches, but we're gonna bring some three inches and we're gonna continue the, the job in here. And we use the, the saw to cut the wood. It was just few tools, not too many tools, but work great. Let's let's go to work. Let's get this thing wrapped up and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Let's work. <laughs> let's work, man. Come on. This we call it the cripple. What? Cripple. To support it. part of the support because once we put the head we need some support to support the header. I just want to make sure this guy is gonna go all the way up. As you can see we had the uh, 2x4 just support straight with the joists. We have moved the 2x4 so we just uh, put the extra support in here. Yeah, before we have moved the support in here, 
they start, we just put the support, that way the, the floor would not collapse. You need a temporary? Yes, temporary support. Now once we have this done, we just can remove this without any headache. The window gonna be the same size as the one we have upstairs. Like uh, would be would be from here, the side of the window I have the it marking here. Would be from this point to this point, about seven and a half. The same weight as the one above it. You can see we had the header, we had the support. This is a little bit wider than uh, the wind that we're gonna use. So, hello, yes, uh, here we're gonna install a window. And uh, first thing to do is measure the side of your window and decide where it goes. And uh, in this case, here we're gonna put a, a big window. That's gonna mat the one that we have on the next floor. So that the window there is about 70, 70 and a half inches. So this one, this open is a little bit more than what we need. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill in, put a two by four on the space right where we need it. This open is a little bit bigger because we just remove a few start from between the the space that we need and this one land right there a little bit wider than than what we need and now we just gotta make it work for us yes we use the two existing stud to put the head on but uh, the hole is uh, bigger so what we're gonna do here we're gonna use this one. This uh, would go on the side of the wind that we need. Just got the laser in here. We have a little small laser in there, so we're just gonna have this level. Today's a uh, Saturday, beautiful day. We're gonna remove the temporary support for now, and uh, here I would put. Uh, I still gonna put a two by eight because we're gonna build another wall. 
we're gonna build another wall here. Then I would uh, I would put a piece of two by eight from this corner to this corner to support it because we don't want to lose uh, so much uh, head height for the window of this side because this is short. So we're gonna put the two by eight. Gonna help give it the extra support. Yeah, right. The two by eight from here to here. That way give the extra support to compensate because we just use a 2x4 in this one. So we're just gonna install the 2x8 on the side of the frame. We print it tomorrow and do it. For now we can uh, slow remove the seat. We have our opening for the wind. We're just not gonna cut it uh, the whole thing right now because we don't have the windows yet. The wind has just come, so we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, we just uh, right now we're just gonna build some walls. I guess this this is an exterior wall, so we just need to build a wall to isolate it and. Uh, for our window, next step would be we're just gonna wait for the wind to come and then we're gonna cut it, the whole opening from the other side. And then we have a lot of light in here. Now it's a little bit dark. And guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And thank you for your support and talk to you soon thank you please subscribe that way you can see the next step for the in wind installation which is uh which we're gonna put new winds in cut this this opening and install a new wind yes and then we're gonna see all the process and then we're gonna finish the inside with a uh, drywall and the Exterior just gonna be finished with the, once the wind comes with the finish, it's a renovation window. We just have to uh, silicone it. Yeah, we we'll show you the full process of the wind installation, how it goes. So keep your eye open for the next video. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have uh, any question in uh, comment, please leave your comment and we'll be glad to, to answer them and be here to, to help and if you want to see some video on something some specific part of the project just let us know and we will work on it thank you very much